girls. It's Miss Hollingsworth. Welcome back from winter break. I hope you had a great one. Um, so we're jumping back into commas. And um, I know you've slept since the last time we talked about commas. So I thought we'd do a quick review of commas. So the first place you're going to use a comma is in a date in between the day of the month and the year. So just like this uh, kiddo has October 25th, comma, 2009. This is the most common way that you're going to be writing a date. Um, and you see it every day because it's on the board, right? So there's some more examples. And if you're going to put the day of the week, you need to put a comma after that too. So Saturday, comma, April 10th, comma, 2010. Tuesday, comma, July 4th, comma, 1776. Okay. And then when you're writing dates, there's one more place. If you're writing the date inside of a sentence, you're going to put a comma after the year before you write the rest of your sentence. Now, of course, if your date comes at the end and you put a period, then that's done. But if you have more to say, you need a comma to separate your date from the rest of what you're saying. Okay? So, let's go through some of these. And talk about words in a series. This is what we did right before Christmas break. Okay, so you're going to use commas to separate a series of words or phrases. Um, I used to call this um, commas in a list. Okay, my best friends are Natalie, comma, Alma, comma, and Zoe. I do not need a comma after the and because that would just be a little bit weird with it. Um, but you can also have phrases. Those names were single words. But Abby's chores include cleaning her room, that's one job, comma, taking out the garbage, that's the second job, comma, and washing the dis dishes. If you have three items in a list, you're going to need two commas. If you have seven items in a list, you're going to need six commas, okay? And then we also looked at commas in addresses, right? So you're going to separate one part of an address or a geographical place with from another. So for example, Dallas comma Texas, you've got the city and then the state, or you might have the city and then the country. So Paris comma France. Okay. And you're going to see this a lot in, um, envelopes in addresses on envelopes. Um, and then of course, if it's in the middle of a sentence, you need a comma to set it off again. We move from Buffalo, New York, comma, to Phoenix, Arizona, comma, when I was six years old. Okay? So those are the three big ways that we talked about using commas. We're going to practice that a little bit today and then jump into the next comma rule tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye!